All right, so I'm screwing this 2x4 above my workbench to mount a string in order to do some pendulum painting, as they call it. This is an eye bolt, which I'm going to screw into that 2x4. Then this is an S hook, which will help the rope make a circular path rather than just a straight line, or at least I think it will. And this bottle setup is a bit overkill, but then again, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't overcomplicate at least one thing. But this is what I had on hand, and also I wanted to add some weight, which the all thread and nuts definitely did. And of course, the paint needs somewhere to go, so I just poked a hole in the cap. So now, let's actually test this thing out. It's kind of hard to see, but I drew a circle in the center the size of the bass drum, but this pattern is just a bit too symmetric. But over here, it does look pretty cool. And I tried out a few different ways of releasing the bottle, but the result was basically the same. Now let's actually go for it. I decided to add a second bottle because two is better than one, so I used an almond color and then a blue color. Hopefully this works. So, not that bad for the first attempt, it has a very minimalist vibe to it. So for the second one, I remembered I have this Lazy Susan, which ended up not working that great, but for this one, I'm going with green and blue. As you saw, I went for a more hectic approach with this one, so it definitely looks way crazier than the first. So now I just have to wait and let them dry. So at first, I thought the less is more approach would look better, but I gotta say that I like the crazy one a lot more, especially on the kit, it's way less distracting than I thought. And I guarantee this one would also look good on a kit, but I hung up the flannel head as well as the original fuzzy head, just because their statement is a bit too loud, so I would planned on hanging up at least one of these pendulum paint heads to begin with since it looked kinda empty with just two heads on the wall. So it's definitely a cool idea, and the best part is that anyone can do this, you know. By no means would I consider myself an artist, I cannot draw to save my life. But I will say that if I was to revisit this idea, I would put more thought into the color choices. So if you do decide to try this out, then be sure to tag me so I can see, since I guarantee your results will look totally different than mine. And that's another thing that makes this fun, is you really don't know how it's going to turn out until it's done. So let me know which one you like better in the comments, and if you like this type of video, be sure to like and subscribe. But that's all for this one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>